Okay, I'm doing film review on Kwan Williams. This is first and 10 on the LA 21 yard line. Um, here he is right here, Kwan Williams on this play, playing against Cooper Cup. Um, this play right here, basically getting held by the tight end. So basically, Kwan Williams, I don't know what you're doing here. You need to try and get off your block better than that, just doing Humpty Dumpty, jumping up like uh, Draymond Jones. Again, I'm not really impressed by what I'm seeing from Kwan Williams. I think that you need to dial up certain... He's, he looks to me like a one-trick pony, like a Randy Gregory, in my opinion. This is just getting ridiculous. Here he is. Why are you jumping up and down? Try and shed off of him. Don't just jump up and down. What are you doing? Don't... Again, here he is right here. Kwan Williams. Why are you jumping up and down against this type of player right here? The tight end. I know he's bigger than you, but you can kind of shed off the block there and go and get the running back. Oh, man. Again, here we go. Slow motion. Terrible play by Kwan Williams. Okay, this is a very concerning play from Kwan Williams. You have him going on the slot. It's going to be a blue lake pass. You're going to have the tight end basically do an over route over the middle here. Quan Williams gets basically suckered in because he believes it's a run play. And then uh, Matthew Stafford has all this room. There are two things here Quan Williams would, could have done. Was affect the play, went down, try and tackle Matthew Stafford, or play more coverage. Because you only have single high safety. You only have the single high safety over the top right here. And um, I think this is a very concerning play because right here he basically gets suckered in. I'll show you guys right here. You have uh, Kwan Williams right here against Cooper Cup. This gets sucked in, and then he has right basically over there. He should have played that second field coverage, should have stayed in his lane over here. I think that's what he should have done. And he, Kwan Williams, basically he's beat because, number one, he has to stop. He shouldn't have came all the way down here. He should have stayed out here. Um, that's what I would have dialed up. Um, but again, you know, that, that's a very concerning play. You can't do that against a team like this with better player personnel. They're going to eat you alive every time. They're going to see that on film and they're going to see that every time you do that. And basically they're going to attack you each and every day. So basically Kawan Williams gives up all this ground over here, um, in the middle of the field and basically just gets beat over the top. I, I just don't get that play by him. He just gets basically beaten here he is Kwan Williams drags down should have stayed over here but didn't unfortunately so that that's those are the plays that need to be cleaned up by him um I don't know what he was doing on that play because basically you had the off-ball linebackers here again I told you, you see that guy creep out right here Odell Beckham down here at the bottom of your screen he's basically gonna run an over route right here the uh receiver and Quan Williams should have played should have took that way that part of the field and he did it so that's a, a concern from uh Quan Williams here he is I'll do it one more time in slow motion for you guys again look at all that field look at all that field right there look at all that field Juan Williams could have played that better. Okay, here's another play that's very concerning. Um, basically, I think a lot of teams are going to attack Juan Williams. Um, now that I think about it, um, this is this is becoming a trend I've seen from Juan Williams on tape. So basically, what's going to happen? They're going to bait him again. You're going to have a guy come over here. That should have been the – this is the linebacker's uh, basically assignment on this play. You're going to have him go basically do a post over here. Then you're going to have this guy kind of do a wheel route up here. Watch Kwan Williams up here, basically on this play up here, get beat. And, again, these are the type of plays I look at when you're playing slot corner. Again, would you have guys have signed uh, Bryce Callahan, or would you guys have assigned uh, Kawan Williams? We already signed Kawan Williams, so you're stuck with him. Again, these are the plays I'm looking at. These are the plays I look at. 
He gets beat. He gets beat time and time again from trick plays. He gets, and I guarantee you, defensive coordinators are going to look at that and be like, okay, so we got to dial up some type of play to beat Kwan Williams. Basically, another Justin Simmons gets beat over the over the top right here. Have Kwan Williams in the slot. You have Odell coming in motion. Okay, again, why are you going this way? Linebacker's responsibility. He has him. Stick with your man. That's Cooper Cup. Here he is. Here's Kawan. Okay. Again, he's going free. He's going free. The linebacker has that responsibility. Okay. The safety has this deep part of the field down here. You have a guy up here who has that guy. Cooper Cup's going to run free right here. Look at this play. And please tell me, and there's Kawan Williams going, what the hell? Oh, I just got beat over the top. Again, why, I don't understand this. That is a very, that's very concerning to me. Very, very concerning. You're a veteran in this league? Come on, seriously. I know you're not going to get every play right, but you should have known. Okay, look, even the linebacker was motioning with him. Even Fred Werner, watch. Watch, he's going to motion. Okay, he's going to motion. Okay, stick with your man, Kwan. Unbelievable. That is a terrible play by Kwan Williams. Terrible, terrible play right there. Wow. Okay, this is first and 10 on the uh, San Francisco 24 yard line. And uh, again, these are the type of plays I'm looking at right here. So basically, you have Kawan Williams up here going against Cooper Cup. You know you're going to have a safety, but watch him get beat by this double move by uh, Cooper Cup. Basically gets beat inside. So it's basically, I'm going to juke you inside, then I'm going to come out. Luckily, he had uh, a guy playing the, uh, single high coverage over here. I'm telling you, this, this isn't going to be Justin Simmons helping over the top. Okay, this isn't Justin Simmons here. So nine times out of ten, Kwan Williams going to beat. That's a touchdown for uh, Cooper Cup down here at the bottom of your screen. Watch him, bang bang. He, I would I would have threw it to him. I would have threw it to him. Basically gets beat. His hip fl hip to fluidity right here gets beat. Kwan Williams right there. Unbelievable. And again, why? Uh, Every time I watch it, he's always late to get into a set. I don't know why. Why are you always late? You should be there already. Stop stop messing around, dude. Get in your set. This isn't play playground football. This is NFL football we're talking about here. What the hell are you doing? There he is. Cooper Cup, bang, bang, bang. I would have threw it right there to Cup. And again, nine times out of ten, you have Justin Simmons over the top. That's a touchdown. Because Justin Simmons sucks. So, again, th these are the plays I'm looking at that are very concerning for a guy like Kwan Williams. Whew. Oh. oh, no. Okay, here he is at the top right here. Watch, watch this. Basically a juke, and I'm going to go back inside. Matthew Stafford, you had a touchdown. Yeah, you, he's wide open. Right here. Single high safety's way over here. I would have just that would have been a touchdown. Guaranteed. Justin Simmons wouldn't have been able. He doesn't have the makeup speed to do that, so terrible play by Quan Williams. Okay, this is gonna be second and seven on the LA twenty four yard line. And um, basically, this play epitomizes what I've been seeing from Kawan Williams. I don't know why we went after a guy like Kawan Williams. This is why I'm telling people he's lost a step in the National Football League. You could have brought Bryce Callahan at the same price point. I understand Bryce Callahan's injury prone, but he has better instinctual ability than Kawan Williams right here. This play epitomizes what I've been seeing on film this entire game. Yeah, he's going to look good against the JV squad, against the Detroit Lions, against the uh, um, – Jacksonville Jaguars but against plays like this he's getting consistently beat on a consistent basis so here is Quan Williams at the bottom of your screen right here okay watch this right here okay okay number one 
I know you're trying to think, okay, you can go over to him, but you have you have help over here. Again, you're just jumping up and down, chopping your feet, trying to see what's happening. Again, you're letting this guy open the entire play. The entire play, you're letting that guy open, that receiver right here. You're letting Matthew Stafford with an easy look and throw, okay? I don't understand what he is doing here because you know you have safety help over the top over here. You have a corner and another safety. Again, pause it. I'm going to pause it again. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going slow motion to explain this. Okay. You know for a fact that you have the corner here. You have a safety right here. Why aren't you? I understand you're trying to neutralize the middle of the field, but this guy is going to take this man. Your responsibility is to take that guy. You're backing up trying to neutralize that. I understand that. But at the, at the end of the day, you cannot give up looks like that because people, again, will attack you like people attack Justin Simmons. Easy, simple looks from a cornerback standpoint. Bryce Callahan would at least had this neutralized to the point where it would have been a made, it would have been a more difficult throw for that quarterback. Here's Matthew Stafford up here. Again, you have that responsibility. Number four has that responsibility. The safety, you have help. You have complete help over the behind you, over the top. Your responsibility should have been that guy and that guy alone. And look what happens. You get beat. You get, I don't know why you're jumping back like that. I mean, did you almost trip over yourself? You have to have better control in your lower body ability and your lower, bar, lower body agility and quickness to understand that this guy right here is going to beat you all day long and they're going to dial up plays against you all day long. And that's what I see the Rams are doing. They are attacking Kwan Williams in this game on a consistent basis so far right here here he is again what where are you going i i mean i know you're trying to neutralize this field this part of the field but you have help right here you need to go attack that guy right there just saying okay this is first and 10 on the la 32 yard line this is one of the worst plays i've seen from koala williams all night i've been studying film on koala williams for about an hour hour and a half two hours it is just absolutely mind-boggling. The money, two years, seven million dollars. When you could have got a better player in Bryce Callahan, brought him back. Okay, you have a receiver running in the middle of the field. You, un I understand your instinctual ability to come here, but that linebacker has him. You need to go out here and neutralize this side of the field. Again, I am, I am getting really sick and tired of these good enough players that we're getting. He is becoming inconsistent. They are starting to attack Kwan Williams. I'm just telling you guys right here, right now. Look at this guy. One right open, and he's just standing there. Okay, look at this. Here's Kwan Williams. Oh, okay. Why are you going down there with him? You need to get I'm in a deposit where I think he should have stayed in his lane. Okay. Okay. You need to be out here more. Because that's going to make it a more difficult throw for Matthew Stafford. Look at that. There's safety over the top over here. Just saying. I'm going to move it over here. There's safety over the top right here. Quan Williams is right here. Number four is right here running with his man. He needs help. Fred Warner has that player, has that uh, tight end. Quan Williams, what are you going to? Why are you trying? Again, this makes no sense to me. You need to come out here. You shouldn't have drifted that way anyway. Your instinctual awareness should have been, okay, I see what they're doing. I need to drop back here uh, three to five more yards. Neutralize here. You could have picked off Matthew Stafford right there right now. That's what you could have done. But no, you decided to go down there, and it looks like you're trying to hide. Is what you're, lo looks like you're trying to hide, and they're attacking you. They are attacking you on a consistent basis. Here he is, Quan Williams. Okay, see, you're drifting. You started to drift the right way, but then now you wanted to go back there. You need to go over here. You need to go back up three to five yards in here and neutralize that receiver because there's already a single high safety help right here. You got number four. You got him to, got you got him that has Odell Beckham on the top of your screen. You have a free guy running right here. You have the guy at the bottom of your screen right here. Got him. Fred Warner has him. You need to be the neutralizer right here. That is what they designed off for you on defense. They, you need a neutralizer right here. You're letting him run free. You're another. Uh, 
You're 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 just another Alex Singleton playing corner. That is that is a terrible play, absolutely terrible play. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs>